In a blog titled An Open Letter to My CEO, Yelp customer service employee Talia Jane addressed Jeremy Stoppelman, uh, Yelp CEO, and informed him of her abysmal living conditions due to her entry-level salary within the company. Now, uh, she wrote a four-page entry uh, on Medium, and I recommend that you read it, and I'm going to read you some excerpts now. She writes, so here I am, 25 years old, balancing all sorts of debt and trying to pave a life for myself that doesn't involve crying in the bathtub every week. Every single one of my coworkers is struggling. They're taking side jobs. They're living at home. One of them started a GoFundMe because she couldn't pay her rent. I haven't bought groceries since I started this job, not because I'm lazy, but because I got this 10-pound bag of rice before I moved here, and my meals at home consist, by and large, of that because I can't afford to buy groceries. Isn't that ironic? Your employee for your food delivery app that you spent $300 million on to buy can't afford to buy food. Now, she says, I got paid yesterday $733.24 bi-weekly, but I have to save as much of that as possible to pay my rent uh, $1,245 for my apartment, which is 30 miles away from work because it was the cheapest place I could find that had access to the train, which cost me $5.65, one way to go to work, so that's $11.30 a day. Uh, by the way, I make $8.15 an hour after taxes. And just for reference, you, uh, the minimum wage in San Francisco is $12.25 uh, an hour. $12.25 an hour, and so she loses four ten of that to taxes? Mm -hmm. That seems nuts, but... Uh, yeah, it's possible. She she then goes on to make all these sorts of like tongue and cheek uh, solutions, saying cutting the coconut water within their uh, campus may save money to pay the employees. And she ends it saying, "I hear your net worth is somewhere between 111 million dollars and 222 million dollars. That's a whole lot of rice." Now, shortly after her post was published, Jane reported that she had been fired. She tweeted, "The HR lady and my manager straight up told me that the letter violated Yelp's terms of conduct." And that's why they had to let me go. My manager wasn't even notified until I called him. This didn't come from my department. This came from dot, 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 the big guy. Now, Stoppelman personally addressed Jane's letter on Twitter on Saturday, saying he was not personally involved in Taya being let go, and it was not because she posted a medium letter directed at me. No. No, it's just, yes. it's just, just anyway. random, yeah, exactly. Yeah, totally he totally then cool. went on to address uh, San Francisco's cost of living, saying the reality of such a high Bay Area cost of living is entry-level jobs migrate to where cost of living are lower. Have already announced we are growing Eat24 to support in Arizona for this reason. So obviously this has sparked a debate about, uh, on one side, fair wages, uh, on the other, entitled millennials. Okay, so uh, I'm on both sides of this. Um, I think everybody's got a decent point to make. So first, um, one thing that's absolutely clear we've already talked about, she got fired because of the letter. Right. Let's no just question. be clear. And that, and, that, and that makes them uh, monsters. Like, just don't, just don't fire her. Yeah, uh, look, uh, there's a lot I don't like about the letter. Uh, and so I get why you'd be pissed if you're the, the CEO, right? Mm. You can just, be, I, I, don't, I can understand being yeah. pissed. But you don't fire her. No, you can't fire her. And besides which, it's dumb to fire her. Dumb, even even if you wanted to, have enough sense to not do it immediately so everybody's like, oh, you just fired her for because writing that letter, letter right. against you, right? right? So that was a knuckleheaded move yeah. uh, in 18 different ways. Okay, now, uh, on her wage, anyone who doesn't feel sympathy for that, you got to bring it down, man. Like, oh, do it. I'm seeing the comments. Oh, it's entitled. Mm -hmm. No, she's entitled about some things, and I'll clarify that. But some of them are saying very specifically, oh, you're not entitled to anything more than minimum wage. No, nobody's entitled to anything. We get that. But it's okay for somebody to say, my, my God, it is nearly impossible to live off of this, mm -hmm. right? And now whether you want to put that on Yelp is a different question. Maybe you should argue for a higher minimum wage and, and et cetera. And then there's a thousand different jobs I imagine within Yelp. And comparing yourself to the CEO's salary is just pointless, right? You could... I suppose the, the cleaning person could say, well, what the hell, why don't, you know, why am I getting such a, well, every job has a certain wage, right? Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know, is the argument that Yelp shouldn't have any minimum wage employees? Uh, but, but whatever that argument is, don't hate on her for that. It's really, really tough to get by on that money. We should all have some sympathy for that. Especially in San Francisco. Especially in San Francisco. Mm -hmm. And that is an incredibly low wage, mm -hmm. right? That is, I mean, what, what does that come out to, Hannah, for the year? I think we talked about 18000 $18,000 yeah. $18, for the year. That is an incredibly low wage. Okay. Now, um, the part I agree that she feels entitled is 
She said, "Oh, you know, I I work here for a year and I want to uh, and I need to be promoted up." And they, she didn't get promised that she was going to get promoted up, but nobody's promised a promotion. So that I'm like, eh, okay, okay, but that's something that you should talk to your manager about, yeah. etc. Right? Uh, but I'm curious what your guys' take on it is. So and then me, and oh. then last thing uh, from my perspective is putting the letter, making it so public. It is slapping the co uh, company mm -hmm. across the face, and is it because is it Yelp's fault? Do they treat that for everybody? Are they uh, underpaying at all levels for all jobs? I don't know, but it certainly gives that impression. Maybe your beef is actually with the minimum wage more than it is with Yelp. So I can understand why Yelp is pissed about it. Mm -hmm. So that's my overall take. Which what so do you so let me clarify some of the details of the story that I kind of like left out just because this was a four-page article, and then I want to address some of your points. Um, so she started uh, at the customer support section and she says, I think that was fair. I came out of college. I didn't have a lot of experience. I wanted to transfer into media, but this is a great starting point for me. It wasn't until after she was uh, stuck in her apartment and in the job that they told her, oh, you can't be moved at all for at least a year. Okay, mm -hmm. so then she was like, oh, that seems kind of bizarre. Um, and then she goes into uh, like the things that she has done in her position, saying that she used to give out. So I don't know. Do you guys use Yelp? If yeah. they if they Yelp. mess up with you or something like that, a customer service sometimes they'll uh, refund you or something like that. So she had given on her first month, I guess, uh, six hundred dollars out in refunds. Until where she is now, she's lowered that down to fifteen dollars. So she feels like she's saving the company money and she's figured out how to you know maneuver her job better and things like that but again uh, I feel like you take that up with your manager you don't right no I completely media. agree with you that I think uh, how she how she uh, I guess executed her grievances probably not the best idea my guess is uh, that she knew this was coming that she knew that she was gonna be fired and I think that's why she included her uh, she included her Square account and her Venmo account so that people could uh, know, Square, help her out. Venmo or Medium are. Uh, if we continue on this thing. Medium's, Medium's a blog, blog. Okay. and then Square is like you uh, you get I don't know how to describe it like a digital way to receive money. Yeah. Um, same with Venmo. I'd like one of those. <laughs> Apparently, so she. Yeah. So was she. Uh, um, well, well, that may yeah, be. I agree that she didn't execute that the right way. I had I had a feeling she saw this coming, but let me let me ask you a question. So if I put out a blog and I said, ah, oh, like FTYT, essentially, mm -hmm. I mean, would you, wouldn't you just sit me down? I mean, obviously we have a different relationship than yeah. her and her and Jeremy, but like, wouldn't you just be like, Hannah, like, what's going on? Like, why yeah. wouldn't you bring this up to me before? But, but you and I know each other. Yeah. Whereas the CEO and this person handling customer service, they don't know each other well, at all. For and 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 I think that I mean, you're asking my opinion. I, I'm sure that he felt you just threw me under a bus when you didn't ask yeah. to. Address this in any way, shape, or form right. within the company, yeah. yada yada. And if if you had done likewise, yeah, of course I'd talk to you, right? Yeah. But at the same time, I wouldn't be happy. Yeah. Right? I'd be like, Whoa. I'm not doing it. Don't worry. Like, why <laughs> come you do that? Way. I love right? my work. <laughs> well, if you'd said, first of all, if you'd said FTYT, you, I, I, I would think you might get fired. Like uh -huh. that's a little different. She didn't really say F Yelp. Right. Now, but her, it's, but it, it's addressed towards Yelp. It's addressed towards the CEO. Like. Clearly, the implication is he's the one that's at fault. He's he's got a lot of money, sure, and yet I'm making no money. Yeah, so. but he's the one who should yeah. know. So what she only thinks to me, I like the letter, and I wouldn't. I oh, would, that's uh, yeah. And I and I, but she doesn't have. It would be better uh, and enhanced if she had some track record of trying to go up the chain of command. Mm. Now, I don't want to fall victim into the same trap that everyone on the right uses for every whistleblower. Right, Why don't you right. just go to your, your boss? Mm. Right, because usually you go to your boss and. And, and they tell you to f off and go sit back down. Or so I don't know. She this is a there. This was an important moment. This is it was important to her. You could argue that it is a important thing that people be made aware of. That mm. the world realize. Oh wait, by the way, making twelve an hour is uh, I didn't eighteen. That's twenty five thousand a year. Twenty four nine sixty. She's making eight. She's making eight after taxes. Yeah. So her she, salary. So the salary she put out is probably after taxes. Yeah. So eighteen thousand. I thought it's. Taxes. I thought you read that she made twelve dollars an hour. No, 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 no. I said that's the minimum wage in in San Francisco. Well, so she's at least making. Yeah. That. Yeah. So true. okay. So it's twenty five thousand just for whatever. Yeah. Twenty five thousand is still incredibly low. Yes. Still incredibly. So yeah. you know you make a great point about whistleblowers and there was something mm. that was in my gut that made me uncomfortable about going after her too hard. Uh, probably, but but let's not also over glorify her. She's not Edward Snowden. And 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 my main beef with her is 
And and I, by the way, am no one to say, hey, you made your point over dramatically. I've done, I've been guilty of that several times in my life. So I, I hear you, and it got more attention here. We're talking about it. Right. Yeah. So in some ways, mission accomplished. That hey, wait a minute, people got to live on this, and we should think about this. And that's a point we all agree with. But it didn't seem like there was any whistle blowing to be done about Yelp. I couldn't figure out what Yelp was doing wrong. So I, is it that uh, you shouldn't pay that particular job minimum wage? I, okay, that's an argument, right? But is that something egregious that, that Yelp is doing? I'm not sure it is. No, no I think I, here's here's I, like like I said, I don't know if she executed this uh, the perfect way because I don't re necessarily think that this is a problem with Yelp. I think for millennials and people who are saying that uh, they're entitled or whatever, I mean. The cost of living has increased, right? Mm -hmm. But median wages or median incomes have actually decreased since the 80s. Mm -hmm. So it's a lot mm -hmm. harder to keep up now than it was for uh, my parents and, and people who were making money back then. And also student debt is out of control now. And so there's a lot of other things that we have to deal with. And I think that's her beef it's yeah. not necessarily with Yelp but when she sees this person who's running this company and he's you know on his yacht and doing whatever and she's like oh my god bread is the luxury that's literally something that she wrote in here you'd be angry too you'd be no, frustrated I, I and I you'd would. be angry I'd be angry at the situation I'm in and the promises that were made for my college education etc right. so she has brought up an enormously legitimate point and gotten us to discuss it so she's done a service for the country in a sense because mm -hmm. we got to realize that these wages are not livable, right. right? And so that's part of the reason Bernie Sanders wants to raise them to fifteen dollars anywhere, right? yeah. Uh, especially in a city like San Francisco that's so expensive. So she's done a service that way. But to me, I no comparing yourself to the guy on the yacht, like in so if the guy on the yacht fixed the rules by uh, doing crony capitalism mm. and did campaign contributions to make sure the minimum wage was lower and fought for a lower minimum wage, then she's absolutely right. But in this case, the Yelp came out and said, no, no, the minimum wage should be higher. She makes an interesting point about that. Yeah. We're happy that she's focusing on that. So I think you got the wrong bad guy. You know but what I'm I saying? Don't think, like, I don't I, think if I'm at a record company uh, and I'm just at the mail room, I'm not mad at, at, at you know, Dr. Dre for being on a yacht. He's Dr. Dre. Right. No, I. Th so, but I would be mad if I found out Dr. Dre wanted to make sure that the minimum wage was lower. Right, but you see what I I'm think saying? you're right. But I think she needed a face for her yeah, yeah. problem. I don't think I Yelp think... comes out bad in this. No, like, yeah. I mean, it's just where she mm, works. That, I, no, I, I think it's a direct. People, most people would perceive it as a direct attack at Yelp and would get yeah. mad at the CEO. Did Yelp say that they wanted a higher minimum wage? Yeah, they said that she made interesting points and that they think the the minimum wage should increase.